Coach, you're winless so far this season. And sources are saying you're meeting with school president Lisa Miller today. Are you concerned that you won't be back next season? <laughs> no, nah, I'm not concerned. I took this job knowing what we were up against. Has it been hard? Yes. But I believe the student athletes we have here now and the recruiting class we have on the way, these are going to change quick around here. Later. How are you doing, coach? All is well, Mrs. Miller. You wanted to see me today? Yes. Coach, board members and boosters are concerned about this season and the lack of fans in the stands. I wanted to meet with you and assure you that this is your team. We brought you in because we know you will build a winner, but we can't have another losing season. I appreciate that, Mrs. Miller. It'll all come together. I promise you that. Welcome back to the Arkansas A&M Black Bears Dynasty on NCAA Football 14, guys. Today is the battle of the A&Ms. Texas A&M versus Arkansas A&M. Uh, we're getting close to the end of our first season. Thank God. The Aggies are having a down year. I think they're three and six. They're led by Kazada. He's thrown for 1,744 yards, 15 touchdowns, eight interceptions, 17 of 40, 239, and three total touchdowns last game. Uh, Corbin is their running back. He's a beast. Over 1,000 yards, seven touchdowns. Uh, last game, he went for 126, ran a touchdown, and caught a touchdown. And there, Davis is their lead receiver, 34 catches, 672, two scores. Hines on defense leads the team with 27 tackles. Blades has three interceptions, and Johnson has six sacks. Now, look, man, this game might be a blowout early. I'm not going to lie to you. They're a might look. <laughs> They're an A team, A minus offense, A defense. Uh, wow, we have the number 12 passing offense in the nation. Who knew? But we did land some more amazing players, guys. Like this roster is going to be completely new next season. Uh, we got a kicker, Kelly Clark from Marina, uh, Mariana, excuse me, Arkansas, 5'11, 188. And he's got 71 kick power, 72 kick accuracy. Uh, again, you know, we got to get a new kicker because we're using our punter for kick kickoffs right now. And I think we've only attempted one field goal all season. We got another defensive tackle, Dante Bryant from Georgia, 6'1", 282. Uh, again, he's a hole plugger, man. 57 speed, 73 strength. Uh, power move is there. Block shedding is there. Going to add great depth to that D tackle position. We got a big target for Randy, man. This is Tyler Hill. Three-star tight end from Oklahoma, 6'7", 267. And this dude, man, he can get up. He's got 76 speed, 77 jumping, 71 catch, uh, 70 route running, 74 catch in traffic, and he's got some blocking traits too. Big get for us, man. We really needed a tight end that can do it all. And we finally got a wide receiver for Randy, man. Marcus Brock, 6'3", 207 from Baton Rouge. He's a three-star prospect as well. Uh, 85 speed, 71 catching, 71 route running, 72 spec catch, 81 jump. Uh, just another dangerous weapon for us and somebody with a little bit more speed. Now, here's an interesting player. This is Rashad Young from Lawrenceburg, Kentucky, 6'5", 236. They have him listed as a DN, but with his traits and his speed, I think he might be better suited to play D tackle. Uh, he's got 60 speed. 70 strength, 77 power move, 76 block shedding, and 74 tackle. I think I might kick him inside, uh, see what he can do at D tackle, but he might have to put on some weight, though. And we're trying to protect Randy next season, man, and we got Trey Simpson, the guard from McAllen, Texas, 6'3", 325. And honestly, he is uh, a bust, I guess you would call him, but his traits though, are still pretty good. 76 strength, 76 pass block. 70 run block, 68 impact block. Listen, again, we need we need more depth on that offensive line, and this guy could come in right away and start and make an impact. So we moved around the board a little bit. Larry Johnson is now our number one priority right now. We're trying to get a backup quarterback for Randy. Uh, we've got another tight end on our list. This is DJ Ryan. Uh, we've got a wide receiver in Derek Allen from Texas. Uh, Kellen Chase, the outside linebacker from Alabama. We're in the lead for a lot of these guys. Uh, David Ricks, I think this might go into like the offseason, another outside linebacker. Justin Smith, the uh, two-star Juco transfer from Kansas, he's extremely interested. And then we added two new players. This is Odell Mur Murphy from Athens, Alabama, six foot 160. 
He's a cornerback, number 138 in this class. Uh, and, you know, he's got solid coverage traits. You know, he could be a great slot corner, 87 speed, 82 agility, 86 acceleration, uh, 70 man, 63 zone, 70 press. Uh, again, I'm looking for a slot corner right now, and I think he might be able to come in and play that role very well. And then we went out looking for another tackle, man. This is Matt Meyer, 6'2", 275 from Timberlane, Louisiana, the number 121 tackle in the class. Uh, they got him listed as a run blocker, but, man, this dude is going to be something nice. We're going to put him at right tackle. He's got 78 run block, 80 impact block, 74 strength. Uh, 69 agility, 68 speed, and 90 acceleration. The pass block is the only thing I'm concerned about, 68 pass block. But, you know, I like to run the ball to the right side a lot. This guy could open up some lanes for our running backs and our uh, and for Randy if he decides to sneak out. Now, I'll say we did, we've done a great job recruiting so far, man. We have the 43rd ranked recruiting class so far this season. 17 new recruits, hopefully a little bit more coming. Uh, soon, but we've got three three stars, 13 two stars, and one one star. Uh, again, these guys are going to come in and make an immediate impact next season. Uh, we just got to get through this season first. The icy whites today, and look at that meter. Good lord. Uh, let's get this season over with, guys. And as always, guys, if you're enjoying the Arkansas AM Dynasty, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're brand new. Don't forget to ring that bell. Join the Nodi squad and make sure you guys check out those links down in my description. Follow your boy on Facebook, Twitter, and IG. And come through and join the Discord fan for exclusive content. It's time for the Battle of AMs. 0 and 9 versus 3 and 6. Yikes. We are at Kyle Field down in Aggie Country. Getting ready to take on Texas AM, man. We're 0 and 9. They're 3 and 6. Uh, I'm not expecting this to be a close game at all. Uh, but. We're not going to go down without a fight. It's the battle of Arkansas A&M versus Texas A&M. Let's get it. All right, here we go. Offense, first and 10. Wilson's under center, three wide receivers. Drives back. Here comes the blitz. Gets rid of it. Hits Miller on the outside. He breaks the tackle, and he's got some running room. He gets out past midfield, 26 yards. Keith Miller. Second and 10. Another blitz. There you go. Yo, the animation, man. But he got 15, though. All right, let's try to throw him off a little bit. First and 10. See if we get anything with the option. Yep. There you go. Hey, five yards. We'll take it. We'll take it. Good run, Billy. Second and six. Dink and duck our way down the field, fellas. Wilson in the gun. Three wide outs. Oh, got to throw that away. You got to throw that away. We cannot take a sack right there. Come on. And just like that, it is third and 18. They send a blitz. Step up. Got sacked again. Dang. <laughs> oh, jeez. Jeez, jeez, jeez. No blocking. None. All right, first attempt for the Aggies. It's a run play to the outside. Ha. He cuts it back inside, gets stood up by Gibson, but still picks up 11. All right, first and 10. Another run. Good tackle, though. Newell, good tackle. Way to wrap him up. All right, first and 10. Another run. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at all the downfield blocking. Good tackle, Rob. Way to save the tackle, Rob. Way to save the touchdown. Oh, man. And Corbin bowls his way into the end zone. A Texas A&M strikes first, 7-0. So it was a turnover on downs on our first drive. Now we take back over. It's first and 10. Wilson under center. Drops back. Boom, curls again. Miller is out here eating on the left side, man. He gets 14 more on that one. That's his third catch today. All three balls have gone to Miller, and he's caught all three of them. First and 10. Davis gets the handoff, goes up the middle, and he gets rocked and fumbles the ball. Texas A&M jumps on it and recovers. All right, first and 10. Rodgers comes in motion. Going to the air. Swings it out to Corbin. He makes the grab. Pushes his way past the marker and gets the first. 
All right, first to ten. They go no huddle. Davis comes in motion this time. Pass. Nope. Gibson, come on, man. We appreciate that pay that paycheck, A and M. For sure. All right, first to ten. Not who I wanted to throw it to. All right, after the incompletion, it's second to ten. Wide open, too. He was wide open. Third down. Here comes the blitz. No! God, please, no! Pick. No! And it's going to be a... Oh, my God. All right, first attempt for the Aggies. <laughs> oh, my God. Yo, that tight end just pancaked two of my best players on defense. Now it's first and goal for the Aggies. Looking to go up 21-0. Pitch outside. Nobody's home. Corbin walks into the end zone. Touchdown, Texas A&M. It's 21-0 in the first quarter. I'm going to need a drink after this. All right, let's see if the offense can get anything going, man. First and 10. Wilson's under center with three wide receivers. Jeez. Rush got there so fast. Take off, Billy. There you go. Get out of bounds. Yes, sir. 13. We'll take it. All right, second and 10. Why, why would you not go straight ahead and get the block? Third and one. Wilson's up here running for his life, yo. There you go, Rob. There you go, Roberson. First down. Let's go. All right, second down. There you go. There you go, Thompson. All right, eight yards. That's the end of the first quarter. It's ugly. 21 nothing. All right, third down. There it is. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Keith Miller. Let's go. 13 yards. Let's go, man. Play smart football here. First and 10. Oh, oh my God. Let's go, 80. Get that pancake, baby. All right, second and four. There you go. Come on. Come on, Keith. There you go, Keith. There you go. Nine more. Have yourself a first half. Five grabs, 77 yards. All right, man. We're looking at first and goal now. Two tight ends for Wilson in the gun. Oh, oh, Keith, get in there. What's the call? What's the call? Come on, fellas. So after the holding penalty, it makes a first and goal ball at the 10. Oh, no. Threw it right to him. Threw it right to him. How does he not? How does my guy not make a play on that ball? All right, first and 10. Trips left. Good tackle, 5 7. Running for my life all game. First and 10. Slants. All right, here we go. First down. They come out three wide receiver screen. Nobody's over here. Come on. Come on, Rob. Jeez, thank you. He got tripped up by his own guy because my linebacker didn't do nothing. Second and four. Watch the option here. I, these stiff arms are ridiculous, but he gets the first. Come on, boys. First and ten. Ooh, pick that. Come on, JD. You got to pick that. Second and 10. Under center, split eye. 
Brings Davis in motion. It's a pass. Angle route. Drag route. Baldwin makes the tackle after he picked up 15. R1 is to swat the ball. I am spamming R1 right there. And that's the animation I get. Oh, man. All right, first and 10. Two and a half minutes left to go in the half. Wilson's in the gun. Three wide receivers. Another blitz. Hits Gray on the outside. He tries to break the tackle, but gets three. Bro, this is how good their defensive line is. They've got their D end, who is their star player drop it back in coverage second and seven there you go there you go keith another first down he should be close to 100 yards second and ten i try to die i try to take a slide but it got sacked i really just want this clock to run out third and 11. All right, AM takes back over. They're up 28 0. Looking to add more points by half. Quarterback drops back, drops it down to Corbin. He breaks two tackles and gets ripped down by his face mask. Add on 15. Great job, Rob. Great job. I mean, bump that. Now they're in touchdown range. First and 10. Damned if you do, damned if you don't, man. We give up another touchdown. It's 35 nothing, And that's going to do it for the first half. It's not even close. This is what we like to call a paycheck game. We came in, get beat down, walk away with a million dollars to put towards scholarships and our, you know, program. That's what's happening right now. We're down 35 to nothing. Start the second half. The Aggies have the ball. And they come out running. Dave Corbin gets the handoff. Gets stretched all the way out to the outside and loses a yard. Great containment there. Uh, I think that's Dickens on the play. Second and 11. Aggies come out in the I formation. Making adjustments at the line. Oh, my God. Come on, man. Come on, bro. Like, that makes absolutely no sense. First and 10. They stay in the I formation. Twins right. This time he's going to the air. Dot. His Davis on the outside, and he makes a great catch. Somehow got a foot inbounds on that one. So it's first and ten. Trips left. He brings his tight end in motion to the right. Going back to the air. Another wide open wide receiver. Buckley this time for 23. All right, first and ten. Tight end comes in motion. Counter. Good tackle. Second and six. Split eye. It's a run play. Breaks one. About to break another. And gets nine more. Aggies looking at first and goal. Looking to go up 42 nothing. There you go, Rob. Good tackle. All right, second and goal. Got four wide receivers on the field for the Aggies. Brings a man in motion. Come on, Wash. All right, offense takes over. Down 42 points. Wilson's in the gun. Here comes another blitz. He lobs it up downfield. Gray goes up, makes the tough grab. Over two defenders for 20 yards. Play of the day so far for AM. First and 10. There you go. There you go, JD. Pick up 16. All right, we're inside of Aggie territory. First and 10. Wilson under center with three wide receivers. Boom, Johnson. Yep, first catch of the day. There you go, baby. 
Another first down. It's third and ten. Yo, why? There you go, Johnson. Let's go. Good ball. Great catch. Man, what a great. That's catch of the year, yo. That's catch of the year. We're on the board. We scored. We're good. That's all I wanted was to at least score. All right, Aggies take over, man. Up 35. Pretty sure all they're going to do is run this ball. Nope, come out throw. Woo, Rob. Come on. Come on, Rob. Come on, Rob. Come on, Rob. Get there, baby. Let's go. Robert Thomas, baby. Let's go. Jump that route. Take it to the house. Pick six. Way to read that quarterback. That's the plays we need from our captain, yo. Those are the kind of plays we need from our captain on defense. And that's going to do it, man. We come down to Texas and get blown all the way out. 56-14 is the final. We have had we had some bright spots, man. That Rob Thomas pick six. Uh, the Vic Johnson catch in the end zone. Uh, we knew what was going to happen, man. Like, this isn't a shock. You know what I mean? We knew that this was a paycheck game. We were coming here to get funds for the program. And that's what it was. Uh, you know, I guarantee you when we play them again in the future, it won't be, it won't look like this. I promise you that, but we just got to suck it up, man. And get ready for Idaho. Take a look at the stats for the day. Wilson finished 16 to 34, 202. Uh, he threw a touchdown and had two interceptions on the ground. Better day on the ground for us, man. Wilson had eight carries for 11 yards and Davis. He had six carries for 25 yards. Out wide, big day for Keith Miller, man. Six grabs, 86 yards. Shout out to Randy Gray, four catches for 36 yards. Vic Johnson, three catches, 48 yards, and probably the catch of the year for a touchdown. Uh, E-Rob had a catch for seven yards. Uh, Thompson had a catch for eight yards. And Jason Davis had one catch for 16 yards. On defense, Rob Thomas finally stepped up, man. Eight tackles and a pick six. Proud of our captain, man. He finally is showing why he is the captain of this defense. Noel had four. Dickens had three tackles. Williams had three tackles. Shout out to Burns. He had the only sack of the day, and we just had the one interception for Rob Thomas. We knew what was going to happen, guys, like I said before. We knew this was a paycheck game. Now we just got to get ready for Idaho. All right, guys, we're 0-10, and, and I don't want to go winless this year. Like, I want to get a win. And our only chance probably is against this Idaho team. They've got two wins on the year. They're two and seven, and they're coming to our house. We got to show up this week, man. We got to show up. Hey, man, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're brand new. Don't forget to ring that bell. Join the Noti Squad. And make sure you guys check out those links down in my description. Follow your boy on Facebook, Twitter, and IG. And come through and join the Discord family. We got to win this game, man. This is a must-win game against Idaho. Have a great day, guys. Two fingers in the air. Two fingers in the air. <laughs> Peace.